us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 2. So this is the 11th episode. In NIA, these are series of episodes where we focus on this paper extensively. So if you haven't seen the other 10 episodes, please check on our YouTube channel. Question B7. Main carbonates decompose to form the metal oxide and carbon dioxide. Table 7.1 shows the mass of the carbonate before and after heating. So we have uh, 16 carbonates. Question A. Write a balanced chemical equation for decomposition of zinc carbonate. So zinc carbonate is in the first one in this case. So what happens when you decompose zinc carbonate? So we have zinc carbonate which is solid then uh, we heat it then it's going to decompose to zinc oxide which is in solid then plus carbon dioxide which will be gas so this is the decomposition that is taking place but the question is asking us to write a balanced chemical equation so you notice that this side you have one zinc, one zinc, then you have three oxygen, then one carbon, one carbon. So this is self-balanced chemical equation. Then uh, question B, which carbonate is the most thermally stable? Give a reason for your answer. So idealism, which among these a carbonate will remain the same even after we apply heat. So after heating it and before heating it, it remains the same. That's why thermally stable is coming in. Remember the word thermal means in heat. So if you look at this one, this one reduces, this one also reduces, this one reduces, this one reduces, but this one remains unchanged. This one reduces. So this one does not decompose so the answer here is uh, potassium carbonate that's uh, the answer because uh, it means the same before and uh, after eating that's uh, what it uh, implies so the reason is uh, this is because the mass remains the same before and after eating it. That's the explanation. Then question C. Calcium oxide is produced on a large scale by eating calcium carbonate in a kiln. What environmental problem is associated with large scale production of calcium oxide? So, if you look at uh, the process of producing a uh, calcium oxide from calcium carbonate, you notice that we are going to have calcium carbonate, which is a solid, then we are going to decompose this to a calcium oxide which is solid then plus carbon dioxide gas now this carbon dioxide gas which is a byproduct in the process of producing calcium uh, oxide is one of the most important in greenhouse gases so greenhouse gases they cause global warming by uh, causing or leading to greenhouse effect so carbon dioxide which is one of the by product in the production of calcium oxide leads 
Tomb Green House Effect Resulting in Global Warming or Climate Change. So ideally, if you are producing calcium oxide in large scale, it implies that you are also producing carbon dioxide in a large scale. So this would imply that you are contributing more to greenhouse gases, which are the key drivers of the greenhouse effect, which is a major driver of global warming. So those are the key points that you need to think around. Question D, select the carbonate which on heating produces a compound which is used as a refractory material. This is what is key. So there are basically three key oxides that are used as a refractory material. Number one, the aluminium oxide. Then which is the aluminium oxide. Then we have a silicon silicon oxide. Then number three we have magnesium oxide. So these are the three key oxide that are used as a refractory material. So you are just going to look for a carbonate that can give us a magnesium oxide is this one. You notice that if we decompose at this one, we are going to end up with magnesium carbonate, which is solid. Then we decompose it using heat. We are going to get a magnesium oxide solid, then plus a carbon dioxide gas. So this is the material we are looking for. So that carbonate is magnesium carbonate. So the answer here is magnesium carbonate. So this is how you answer question E, B7 to get the optimal max. So thank you for watching uh, this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question e, B8.